What's up everyone, Wolfman here, back at it again with, an illegal, with another LEGO Star Wars review. In um, today's review, we're going to be jumping into the future and the Star Wars timeline. And as what the title of this video was, would say, it is on the Special Forces TIE Fighter. Now before I get into the review itself, just a quick reminder about the, up, about the upcoming review on the Grand Fleet, which will consist of Starfires from both good guys, bad guys, and those in, and those in between. And now uh, that one is going to be come, yeah. You know, like I said, that one's coming up, and it's going to be on the last weekend of November. And this week is going to be the last. I'm going to be doing reviews on Starfighters, and after that, it's going to be on Starships. And it's going to start off with next Monday, this Monday's upcoming Mock Monday review, and it's going to be on a special ship, and it's quite fit. And the name of it's going to be quite fitting for the holiday, well, American holiday, anyways. And I. Don't think there's anything else to say that not not that I would even say say at the end of this video. So without any further ado, on to the review. And here it is, set number seven five one zero one, first order special forces Tie Fighter. The set was first released back in two thousand fifteen. Has five hundred and seventeen pieces and has four mini figures total. Three of which are unique, mainly because there's three different types. Because they did two. Because in this set they actually done two pilots, which you can see in the photo here, and a first order crew member with a with something with a with, with an interesting designed helmet and a first order lieutenant. And I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the media figures themselves. All of them do have regular the standard um, facial expressions that they will come. There are no unique characters in this set. So none of them are double faced, but I like the designs on the on the pilots themselves, and of course they are detailed in the back in this photo as well. And I, there almost isn't too much to say about the minifigs in general. I like the look on the on the first order lieutenant, and this is the one that actually comes with this unique face, as far as I as far as any sets that I know of that they have, that have come out from any Star Wars sets that are based around the First Order. But the other three, they all have standard pale face, or pale colored, or tan colored um, skin tones on the, for mainly just the heads. And I actually do like, and again, the pilots are well detailed. I don't, don't really know what else to really say about the, about the pilots in general anyways. I mean, the Gunner, you can actually get in other sets. Or the crew, or the first order crew member. This sucker actually does have a few names on him or added to him. Hang on, first order crew member, flight engineer slash gunner, and of course, of course the pilots. They actually have two different kind of helmet designs. One of which you'll see in another in a later review, which will be the last one at the end of the, which will be the last one that I'll be doing. But the helmet design on these guys, I actually quite like. I actually like quite a lot. But as far as the officer, it can either be a lieutenant or a captain. And that's basically the long, I think that's the long and the short of it, as you have seen in the photos before. Now, the detailing is well put for a set that was released back in 2015. And just well around put and just well around put together I mean, collection of minifigures here, so put those out of the way after a bit of a poor performance on those guys. But the but I'm more more interested in just showing off the fighter itself, and this set is actually well, well put together for a more much needed updated version on the Tie Fighter, and of course this is a First Order's Tie Fighter, but this is actually a little more advanced. Just to get into a little bit of the lore itself, this specific Tie Fighter actually can go into hyperspace because your standard Tie Fighter, which the First Order, First Order did have. They did not. They were not capable of going into hyperspace. But the, but this one, the special forces, can go into hyperspace. Does have shields, but it isn't as fast. As, but isn't as fast as I don't think, anyways. As far as like say the Tie Defender. But I actually like the design on this. Even the color skins, which goes pretty well. I mean, it's got it's most of the black and some gray, but it also has a red stripe, which you can see on this side of the fighter, and it does stretch all the way to the back. Now one, now of course one key feature that this sucker has, it can actually, which, pardon me, which indicates the two pilots, this sucker actually can seat two. 
And of course the front and the back, they do open up, as well as the top. I don't know if you can see well enough in there, but the pilot and another pilot, which in this case would be the gunner, or the second pilot, can go can basically see in the back. And if anyone who has seen The Force Awakens, Star Wars Episode 7, when Poe and Finn were escaping this, the um, the First Order Star Destroyer, they commandeered one. They had actually commandeered one of these, and Finn actually was in the gunner position, and he was actually fighting off the, uh, the incoming missiles from the Star Destroyer, so they could try and escape, which they ended up failing. It would have been interesting if they did, but they had to go back down to the plant, go back down to Jakku to pick up BB-8. But I actually, but yeah, I'm a big fan of this kind of design. I mean, the Tie Fighter in itself, it's kind of grown on me a little bit. But oh, one of the features, which it's questionable what this is. I would say it's like a communications antenna, but the sucker can actually flip forward. It could basically be like another gun, but or another set of guns on the sucker. I mean, it does have the spring-loaded missiles you can stick right below the cockpit. Which, once again, I never do because I can accidentally release them. But they also have a second pair of guns underneath, which they probably showed in the movie. Which they have probably showed in the movie. It's right under, right here at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that or not. I apologize for. Okay, maybe you can see just a little bit of it right there. But that's just in. That would just be in general. It's some of the other armaments that the Starfighter has. And. Of course, the, of course, they actually is translucent. You can see all the way through to the other side, which is a neat gimmick, as well as the back. And, yeah, you can. Per, I'm pretty sure you can see through that. Comment if you did not. But this is a well, well put together Starfighter. I enjoy. I actually did enjoy building this for when it was released, and I liked it so much. I actually bought two at the same time. And I don't know how. Excuse me, I don't know how often you can actually find these at, say, a bricks and minifig store near that, anyone that lives close to if you're here in America. But any place else, I think you just have to order it online. But this sucker, for the price and even the piece count and the minifigs, it was definitely well worth the purchase. And anyone who actually is a fan, just as much as a fan of this kind of design in particular, well, <laughs> leave them all. Feel free to leave a like and even leave a comment if you want to. I mean, but uh, definitely a well put, a well designed Starfighter, and definitely one I highly recommend. And if you're a big fan, bigger fan of it than I am, then get more. I mean, if you're able to get three, get four. I mean, double the number that I have because I only have two, and I wouldn't get rid of her. I almost wouldn't get rid of her any given reason. So, well designed, well put together Starfighter, and. I I would actually highly recommend. So that was my review on the on the First Order Special Forces Tie Fighter. And if you like that video, please feel free to leave a like and leave a comment. I'd like to hear some feedback from anyone who comes across this channel. And if you're new here and if you like what you see and you want to tune in for more and you want to tune in for more videos, then hit the red subscribe button down below and come join the Wolf Pack for more content. And keep an eye open for the upcoming review on my Grand Fleet, if anyone who comes across the channel before the last weekend of November, which I believe is the 26th, but that's when I'm going to be doing the next ones, but with this, but with the end of this video, there are two more TIE two more First Order Starfighters, both TIE Fighters of different variants, I'm going to be doing next, and after that, I am going to be doing shuttles and frigates, corvettes, just any other starships that aren't classified as starfighters per se. And those are going to be included in the Grand Fleet and most likely and quite possibly after that I maybe may either be doing reviews on first order sets or, or any other ones that I, that I haven't done that aren't considered spaceships. But most likely after that I'll be doing reviews on my Republic clone army, so that's definitely something to look in, to look forward to, if anyone who wants to see that, and if you made it this far. And I think there's nothing left for me to say but to remind you that Jesus loves you more than Elmo and Barney, and I'll see you guys next time.